Dispose of this annoyance at once. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the player for you for Danganronpa 2. We are in it, our first fucking trial. Oh, I can't wait. But I have no skills because I fucking suck. So let's go over things one more time. So, this money was covered in the dining hall. That's made a time of death. 30. Stabbed over 10 times. No injuries. Body was face down under the table, so Byaki was reaching for something. Bloodstained knife under the table, glowing paint like substance coats it. Uh, a pool of blood is formed around the, ta around the body under the table. The blood splattered against the tablecloth. Also, there's no sign of the body being dragged through the bloodstain. Full of gaps. AZ timer set to 130. AZ timer in the office at the 130. So, night vision goggles. During the blackout, you can tripped and fell. By the time she came to, uh, the case Miyaki had with him. There's a lot of security device equipment inside, and a hard plastic case as well. Key to the other duralinium, duralunium, or aluminum cases in here, inside, inside here too. Um. So, time of talking. Mahiru, Kazuichi, Ibuki, Mahiru again. Yoko, Yakia, Nagito, Akane, Teru, Sonia, Kazuichi. Okay. Three irons placed inside the storage unit. Storage room. Bloods and tablecloth. Gas stove. Fire dishes. Fire doors. Kitchen equipment list. Count. Fuhiko came up, walked away. Threatening letter, because we just count. Mikan's autopsy report. And then. Okay. Let's go. Trial Stato! Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and <laughs> vote for who done it. Oh, Sami. If you vote correctly, you get shit the on so the much. Blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the Blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. S such a cruel rule. Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? Most definitely! There's no doubt that the Blackened is lurking among you! Such a sad state of affairs, isn't it? By the way, this class trial is gonna be 100% fair! So there's no need to worry! I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice! Well, not as much as I hate Monami, of course! That's funny, given the last game. Yes. You're telling us to begin, but what are we supposed to do? Non-stop debate, no, motherfuckers! Let's settle this with our fists. Were you even listening to the rules? Didn't that Biakia bastard get killed in the dining hall? Huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. Yeah, yeah. What you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. Well, you say that, but... Huh? What does that mean? Uh, anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? Huh. The most pressing issue on our minds? Something about panties. Where we found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. Then, let's start with that mystery. The reason why Byakia's body was discovered underneath the dining hall table. We can start with that, but ultimately, we need to find out who murdered him. If we can't do that... No. Thinking about if is a waste of time. We have to do this, no matter what. The class trial has finally started. 
from this point on, I'll write simple tutorials at every important moment. I'm sorry, but please excuse my ear-tainting rudeness. As things progress during each class trial, you'll be you'll engage in a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, all your classmates will speak at one after another without any breaks. It's up to you to reveal any lies or mistakes contained within their statements. This means you'll have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. And of all the truth bullets you find during your investigation, only the relevant ones will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the left stick to move the reticle around and fire with the Y button, I think. Pay close attention to e-character statements and choose your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so be careful. Press the start button during any of these arguments to review your controls. Well then, good luck and have fun. Yeah, actually it's me. Why was Just double check, yep, why? In a place like that. His body was underneath the table the very back of the dining hall. After the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably moved the body there. Huh? Why? Obviously by hiding the body. They tried to delay its discovery. Like a dog burying a bone. Yeah, so blood stains under the table. Huh? What he just said was strange. It clearly contradicts the information I know. Why was Byakuya's body in a place like that? His body was underneath the table at the very back of the dining hall. After the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably moved the body there. Nah, bitch. No, that's wrong. Counter. Break it. No, I don't think the killer moved the body. Huh? Why? Try to remember what the body looked like when we found it under the table. Though there was a lot of blood everywhere, there was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. I see. I get your point. And here I thought I had a genius idea. Too bad you're so stupid and boring and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. What have you contributed, woman? I respond better to oh, sorry, praise, child. you know. But if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? Byakuya was probably killed under the table. What? You think he was killed under the table? That's what I just said. So Byakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown, and that's when he was killed. Then, shortly thereafter, we found his body under the table. Th that does make sense, but why did he go under the table? Obviously he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big joke, sir. The fuck you talking about? The hell he was? You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. It's a blackout, not an earthquake. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he dive under the table. The reason why is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, don't you think? The reason Byakuya dove under the table... If it's connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, then it's probably... Assume the knife just for right now, but I can prove it with this. Yep, okay. It 
probably has something to do with the knife we found under the table. Sorry, the question kind of threw me off. Knife? Oh, you mean that thing that obviously screams, I am the murder weapon! Byaku, you probably noticed the knife was hidden there. Hit it there himself. So in order to get it, he moved under the table. He was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items, so I cannot deny that possibility. But how did he notice that there was a knife under the table? If he knew beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Then, instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment. Like, for example, he might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. No, that's not possible. What? You seem rather confident about that. Of course. I have proof to back me up. Oh. <laughs> this is almost like a real trial. I know, right? During the previous statement, there was only one weak spot. But from this point on, there will be various weak no, there will be various weak spots just standing in your way. I apologize, I forgot the voice. No matter how many weak points, no matter how many weak spots there are, there will only be one lie or contradiction in the debate at a time. This means there will be false weak spots. If you shoot a false weak spot with a truth bullet, not only will you fail to refute what they said, but you also lower your trust with everyone else and your influence gauge will take damage. If your influence gauge reaches zero, you will fail, so please be extra careful. You'll have to rely on your own logic to determine which weak spots are actually lies or mistakes. Also, if you concentrate while holding down the right B button, you can make the argument, you can progress the argument slowly. Please use it whenever you feel like the statements are moving too fast for you to aim. However, this does consume the focus gauge, so please be careful. If you press the start button, during blah, 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 well then good luck and have fun. Okay, knife is your goggles. I'm sure Byakuya ducked under the table during the blackout. That sounds correct. If that's the case, during the blackout, Mr. Ham Hands must have seen the killer take the knife. But it was super pitch black. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. Byakuya couldn't see in the dark either. No, that's wrong. Well, that moved a lot faster. Just like the, just like firing the bullets and stuff moves a lot faster in this. No, Yakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Why do you say that? He was using those night vision goggles we found under the table. He could have seen what was happening. So, are you saying Yakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? Yes, I am. Yeah, that seems to be the case. You are very quiet, Hodge Your reasoning is out of focus. Oh? Oh, shit! No, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. Other way around? Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not the Akuya. Bitch, the fuck you on? Were you surprised by my hero's sudden argument? Just between you and me, I was also surprised. Well, just kidding. I'm sorry. Now then, when this kind of argument surfaces, you will go into a one-on-one -on -one debate called the Rebuttal Showdown. In this mode, you have to counter the other person's claim, draw out their weak spots, and argue against them. Please counter the other person's remark with the left stick. Based on the shape of their remarks, it's important whether you cut vertically, sideways, or diagonally. Oh, fuck. Based on that, you can skew the debate's mood to your advantage. On the other hand, if you ignore the other person's remarks, it'll skew towards their advantage. In the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, a number that displays the sharpness of your counter will be displayed. 
This is the number of times you can cut remarks during one round of the debate. You will lose counts of sharpness if, even if you miss. So please be very careful. When the mute skews to your advantage for a certain length of time, the other party's argument changes. This means the conversation will develop. If that happens, they will end up divulging some weak points. However, you cannot normally cut remarks that contain weak spots. Instead, it will steer the mirror toward the other party's are disadvantage. Plus, it's going to be very big. Just like a regular debate, you can refute any weak spots with the with the Y button. I don't know why that button, why that number used to show up. Of course, you don't have the correct truth blade. You'll never know. You'll never be able to cut the opponent's remark. Huh? What's well, a truth blade? I'm terribly sorry. It appears there's some been, been a delay in contacting you. I'll make sure the person in charge of contacting you takes a very long vacation. This mode, truth bullets will be called truth blades. Um, that's about it. I'm going to changes to your handbook menu. Well, the name was changed, but uh, don't you think a change in failing is important? Press start button, review controls, well, good luck and have fun. Yeah, they're aluminum. them. If you just use common sense. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. Okay, fast forward, I'm just listening. I should let, I should let uh, say what she wants, then find a point that I can argue if against. you just use common sense. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. I can't back down. Yeah, <laughs> Fuck off! Where's your proof that the killer used them? Because if they used night vision guns, then they could have killed Yakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality, that's what so those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Allow me to cut through those words. I have no idea what happened, but I think I got it. No, Yakuya was definitely the one who brought those night vision goggles. Definitely. But why? Inside the Duralumen case Byakuya had with him during the party. She found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumen case as well. Woohoo! I said assume! Ibuki never uses such clever language! Instead, she yes. refers to herself in the third Yoshi person! was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. Yup, yup. I see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. Damn fuck, it's Skippy. Then, was that knife inside the case too? Nah. If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there too. It would be weird. I am weird, aren't I? At times like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about tonight's main dish. Ooh, you totally mean that in a perverted way. Not wrong. The knife was brought along in the Duralumen case along with the night vision goggles too? No, that's not possible. The knife was hidden in the dining hall before the dining... Okay, so that was... The duct tape. I see. There was duct tape left under the table where the body was found. Huh? Duct tape. They probably hit the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the tape. Oh, so that's why we found duct tape there. Though Byakuya was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. This may be off topic, but why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? Well, Not only did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case too. That's true. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. 
It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. He probably knew someone was planning to commit a murder. Are you saying he predicted the murder? Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? You think so too, right, Hajime? Right. That's right, Bakia probably knew there was a possibility a murder would occur. Because of that fucking note. I can prove it with this. Everyone, can you please take a look at this? Real polite. Careful, the first kill will happen now. Someone will definitely kill someone. Hey, what the hell is this? Hajime and I found this in Byakuya's cottage. It looks like a threatening letter someone sent for him. So, who's the someone? Nobody besides Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. Wasn't me! Are you sure? The only lies I tell are friendly lies! Those are still lies! Doesn't matter who wrote it yet. So, Yakuya became paranoid because of this threatening letter? He probably decided to throw a party because of the letter. What do you mean? By gathering everyone in one place, he tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. In doing oh God. so, he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where he couldn't act. But the letter might have been just a little prank. As long as he was determined not to let any of us die, he couldn't take that risk. A strong sense of responsibility letter was legitimate. You should have told us you received a threatening letter. If he had, we would have panicked. Byakuya probably knew that too. So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? I see. A strong sense of responsibility as our leader was his undoing. Screw that noise! Who the hell wrote that letter? I'm gonna punch all of you. The first oh, one to say "ow" was the killer. The killer. The killer. Is it really one of us? Who is it? Among us, who's the one who killed Biakia? <laughs> Enough already! Show yourself, you coward! If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place. I still can't believe it. Someone in this room killed Byakuya. There's no way I can believe that yet. Um, pardon me. Can I say something, please? What is it, Miss Sonia? I regret that I must return to this topic, but I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? You're right. They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. Not necessarily. No, the killer definitely used a mark. And because of this mark, the killer was able to get the knife from under the table into his hands. Blow and paint. See. What if the glowing paint was the mark? With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. Oh, that rhyme fucking bars, homie. The knife we found under the table. And the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint, right? Does that mean... The killer painted them in advance? But painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. They planned it. They had to have already known. That's why they used the glowing paint as a mark. 
Which means whoever set up the blackout is the killer. That seals it. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. Nope. Which means it was you, Peko Pekoyama! Yeah. Peko killed poor Bianca? Was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? I'm not the killer. Oh, I guess she's not. <laughs> How can you believe her so easily? Oh, God. But, is she our new hero? I don't care about a technicality like that. Peko's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the blackout. By tripping the breaker directly from the office, Peko was the one who caused the blackout. Is that really what happened? After this debate, blue colored weak points will start pe will start appearing. If we call if we call weak spots you've seen up till now argue points, the blue color weak spots will be called agree points. Uh, when you shoot, uh, when you shoot, shoot bullets, you need to flip your way of thinking instead of arguing that the other person's testimony can, contains their lies or mistakes. Please fire the truth bullet that that can prove the other person's testimony is correct. Ah, oh, fuck. When your truth bullets merge with their weakness, it will become logically sound agreement. Isn't it a little hot in here? From now on, you must infer whether it's best to argue or agree based on what's being debated. Better start, because we're the girls want a good looking and have fun. Let's do. Right, what bullets do we got? Taro's account, Nakamura's account, and Shaki's account. Since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time. That's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office. Not even before the blackout. What happened to your guard duty? Sorry. Oh, you weren't in the office? That's clearly a desperate excuse. Hmm. Okay, so what are their accounts? Uh, Nakamura's returning to the before the party started. Count, um... Okay, and then... Okay, Terra's account. Okay, so... Must be Nakamura's account during... Just for listening to Pekka's, Pekka's testimony, it's not weird to doubt her. But I feel like I spoke to someone during the investigation who totally backs up her testimony. Since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time. That's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office. Not even before the blackout. I agree with that. <laughs> no, I think Pekka was telling the truth. Mm hmm, don't tell me you're crushing on Pekko. Nope. And it's nothing like that at all. Nikomaru's account is actually Pekko's alibi. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started. Then it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. Uh, then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekka. I... I guess that would be... true. You locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier! People have weird hang-ups about no pooping. should actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. Why do you have hang-ups? Everybody poops, man. If she locked herself in the bathroom for that long, there's no doubt. 
Shit. Exactly. <laughs> oh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit you was taking a shit. Hey, weren't you guys taught any basic manners, or were you raised in a locker room? What is pe What is this weird hang? Everybody poops, yeah. man. I'm sorry. Everybody poops. It's fine. How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? Don't worry. The smell wasn't that strong. I used the bathroom right after you, so you can trust me. I blew a fucking hole in that toilet. You said it's fine. But still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom, including when the blackout occurred. Hey, how did it feel to do your business in the dark? Did you get excited? Oh god, he's in the scat. Yes. Stop it. But still, your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. Huh. I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. Room pretty well so far. Stop this childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? Laxatives? If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? I see. That might have happened. The question is whether Pe whether Peck of stomach ache was a coincidence or if someone intentionally caused it. Depending on the answer, the outcome of this trial could change drastically. Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it... You brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Toe Toe cooked the food, how suspicious! I, I wouldn't do anything like that! Laxatives would ruin the taste! Nope, fuck. Crap! Was a mistake? Fuck, shit, ass. Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it... You brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? No, that's wrong! <laughs> no, it's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall. Because Pekka wasn't the only one who ate that food. But Connie ate some of it too. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Connie would have had stomach issues as well. I feel totally fine. Like I said, the, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. I apologize for causing a scene. Fuyuhiko should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. What the fuck did you say, bitch? Cease <laughs> this bickering. Let's just dismiss Peko's stomach ache as a coincidence. And God damn it! Discussing the blackout. Yeah, yeah. There's some fucking asshole with truck out there skate. all the time. You don't have to tell us. Trashy skank. As long as the murder happened during the blackout, then the blackout itself is what's actually important. So we need to make it clear how that blackout occurred. Do it. If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. 
Did they throw a stone and hit it? Nope. Maybe they used a remote control? They probably messed with the breaker. It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. No, I don't think or that. Maybe they caused a power surge? I agree with that. It's just as Mayu said. The blackout was caused by a power surge. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it intentionally. Which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. When you found them right after the blackout, the irons were still on, right? So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Yeah, it seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. Stupid fool! Yeah. Hold on a second, let me speak too! What the heck? Okay. You say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable! Okay, so for the blade, I need AC timer. If the irons in the storage room caused the blackout for the killer to turn the irons off, you're saying they went all the way to the storage room, and that means everyone who was in the dip when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. But the people in the dining hall were if the irons caught them, the killer oh, had to go to the storage and turn on the iron. Now do you intend to take back what you said? Son of a dick! Sure, the irons responsible for the shouldn't be the only reason. People in the dining hall weren't able to keep the irons caused the blackout. Allow me to cut through those words. There we go. Whew. Fuck. Goddamn. The irons are just one reason the blackout occurred, but they weren't the direct trigger. The direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. The air conditioners! The timers for both air conditioners were set to 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m.? Mr. Ham Ham's died around that time, too! Yeah, he did. I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. I see. I understand. Indubitably. You don't know what that word means. I don't even know what that word means. They probably checked the old building's energy usage in advance and used the irons to nearly max it out. So once they set the air conditioner's timers, they just had to wait until they started up on their own. If so, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout, indubitably. Indubitably? Miss Sonia, not you too. Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Is she right? Such a hateful bear! You deserve to die a thousand deaths! A thousand, you say? If I died that many times, I might really stay dead, you know? Shut up! You guys just stay quiet! I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. Even so, I feel regret. What? Really quiet. I was in the office, this, the mixing on this is fucking weird as hell. In time, maybe the murder wouldn't have occurred. No. The breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible, no matter what. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. It's alright. You don't have to worry. Because... They're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. Huh? There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. Yeah, he did it. I'm In the end, 
Hope always wins. That's what I believe. N Nagito? W what happened to you? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Oh, is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. For now, we found out how the blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, right? Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. What are you implying? He's just saying, after all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? Fortunately... Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the killer. But that might be because there's no way any of us could be a killer. Y you're changing your story again? Anyway, I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, he did it. Are you saying we should all just give up and die? Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. <laughs> you guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. Suspecting each other like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. I... I don't want to do this either. Me too. Please, take me home already. Oh, fuck. Ah, I want to go home and eat candy. Stop it. If everyone acts like this, I... I'm gonna... Everyone calm down. We're all friends, aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another. Then why did Byakuya die? Who cares? Let's just give up already. There are no clues that lead to the killer anyway. Not a single one. That's wrong. I think... Did you say something? <laughs> Guys, we've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. You know who the killer is? The killer? I don't know. But we do have a clue about a suspicious person. I think. I see. Then care to tell me... What's this clue you're talking about? First of all, let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. Didn't we already cover that? They use glowing paint as a mark. No, not that. I mean before that. Before? Is she asking how the killer got close to that table? You know if they... Even if they had to obtain the knife by relying on the glow from the paint in order to do that, they needed to get close to, the, to that table while it was still dark. Let's try examining the situation. My hero's diagram might be useful here. The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um, here it is. Ah, dip. Just as I thought, this diagram is the clue. Who the killer is, and how they were able to move to the table in the dark. It's clearly shown in this diagram. First, we need to discuss how the killer was able to move to the table in the dark. The killer probably used something. 
used something to help them move in the dark. Oh well. Desk lamp to move to that table in the dark. The desk lamp. I hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. There was a blackout. There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. Of course, there's no way to use the killer actually used the power cord. I can prove it with this. They didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? By doing that, the killer was able to move to the table and use the glowing paint to find the knife. And there's only one person here who could have done that. Nagito! Ooh. The only person who could have possibly done it is... Wasn't it? Me? Judging from everyone's positions before the blackout, the only person near the power cord was you. Which means the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was Nagito! <laughs> That's just a coincidence! But still, you had a chance, right? Chance to hide the knife under the table. Look at the chance to hide the knife under the table was when he was cleaning. I see. Nagito, weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? If so, you would have had a chance to hide the knife. That's. If you factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning, you're the only one who could have done it. Seriously, that's all just a coincidence. If it was just one coincidence, it'd be fine. But when it's one right after another, I wonder is something like that even possible? Wait, then how did the? Could it be? Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? Now that you mention it, Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. Girl, the trouble for the thing would happen. Oh, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah. You rigged the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? I don't know if you're the killer or not, but regardless. It proves that you're suspicious, right? If that's the case, that strange speech you made earlier, that was part of your plan, too. You got us to lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did it, didn't you, you motherfucker? Well, just admit it already! Oh, I... I was harping on him hard, but... I don't want to believe I was harping on him hard, but this this feels wrong. You were so kind. I can't believe you're the one who killed the officer. This feels too clean cut. Like, yeah, I was I know I was harping on him real early, but Nagito, say something. It doesn't make enough sense. Cause he was killed. He went into the thing to get the knife. Picked it up, but then stab, stab, stab from fucking underneath. Oh god, you're crazy. The ultimates are working together to combat the despair of their friend's death. Uh, how wonderful. How beautiful it is. Huh? 
Those eyes. At that moment, Nagito's eyes. The darkness in his eyes shone brightly, as if layers upon layers of darkness were unfolding into were folding into each other. As if hope and despair had been cruelly mixed together. Let's cut to the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table. But he's the not the dark. one who killed him. And of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone, right? Uh, is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? But I never expected Byakuya to have night vision goggles. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table. And, well, you all saw how that played out. With a twist ending like this, I think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting mystery. <laughs> Yakuya performed admirably. Mm. Just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? Don't tell me. Is this your true nature? Were you lying to us this entire time? Lie? That's outrageous! There's no way someone like me could have lied to you guys. I understand better than anyone else that yeah, who the fuck mixed this? This is weird. I've made peace with the fact that I'm a lowly, stupid, insignificant human who can't do anything right. Holy crap! He's totally the type of guy who spent his childhood killing neighborhood pets! He seems like the sort of person whose eyes light up while watching Friday the 13th. Just like me. That's quite No, he he planned here. this with somebody else. But, like now's not really the time He to bring got it up. Biaki under the table and someone else fucking stabbed with a skewer. Hey Nagito. If you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep. I sure did. There's nobody else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at. Right. But why would you send a threatening letter in the first place? To get him ready. I think this is all planned. Somewhere deep in my heart. I was probably You weren't working alone, brother. Find someone who would stop my evil deeds. Well, I bet if that really was my reason, at least some of you would feel sorry for me. Are you making fun of us? Yes, yes he is. By threatening the Akuya, Nagito was likely able to manipulate his actions. In doing so, Nagito was able to manipulate everyone to the scene where the murder would occur. Am I wrong? That reminds me. Nagito was the one who suggested I guard the office. All your suggestions it was all a trap to manipulate us. Yep, that's true too. But you're wrong about one thing. Uh, huh? What? 
I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? If that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? I see. Well, there's no way I'd expect you to remember it. Worthless talent for a worthless human. Now gonna tell he's the ultimate lucky student! Please talent is the ultimate lucky student. Wait. I see! You're the ultimate lucky student. Then did you? That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. <laughs> you just relied on your luck? It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks. But I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky. But it was actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty. Just like I won. Enough. That... I don't care about that anymore. More importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Byakuya was a very capable leader. For someone like him to get killed? The despair breaks. It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. That was my only motivation. You're not making any sense! Fine, let's start the damn boat already. I'm ready to fucking chill this site. Please! Monokuma! Please, wait! Huh? The fuck? Um, um, yeah, there you go, nurse. Stepping up! How should I put this? Say. He's already confessed, hasn't he? Uh, I already know that, but uh, there's just something really strange. If it's only a little, then keep your mouth shut. Your ugly face is stressing me out. It makes me want to puke. Shut up, child. She speaks the true true. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, for now, might I suggest we listen to what she has to say? We know who the killer is. Simply listening is acceptable. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. Let's put on lines of white noise. We'll appear and disrupt your reactions. Your truth bulls will disappear if they touch these, so think of them as obstacles here to bite. Please time your truth bullets just right so you won't be nervous about that noise. By the way, if the girl said gentle, that noise won't appear at all. I guess blah blah. Oh, please don't worry, I'm not gonna fall into despair. I'm gonna be like, more time. Just wait. I'm gonna be able to shoot down white noise. That will be explained later. Press star button to All right, so avoid white noise. Can't get rid of it with the silencer. Um, he has already confessed. Um, you know... That bastard Nagito is the one who did it. He killed Byakuya with a knife he did. No, that's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, I fucking love these games. That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what you wanted to say. Right, Mikon? What the hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. Yeah, if you're a fucking dumbass. But based on the entry hint on Yaki's body, the actual weapon should be roughly five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? That's like way skinnier than a knife. Hey, that better be true. If you screwed up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse! Jesus! Uh, not a whorehouse! Hey, why are you threatening her? Is 
this what you're trying to say, Mikan? As long as we can't prove that the knife is the murder weapon, we can't assume that I'm the killer. Oh god, he's a new Byakia. Fuck! What are you saying? No one else can be the killer. It has to be you. Hey, don't blame me. Mikan's the one who said it. Nagito, are you still hiding something? Uh, hiding? Like, during the blackout, did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? Who knows? After all this, what else do you intend to hide? Who killed him? Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get all silent. You piss me off! What happened during the blackout? Hmm. Mm hmm. Ugh! If you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision. What are Don't you get on? Distracted. Our lives are at stake, you know. Fucking finally, thank you. Huh? Whose life is at stake? Seriously, how long is it gonna take for you to understand the damn rules? Jesus Christ! Thank you so much, Kazuichi. Nobody can see in the dark. No matter how hard you think about it, the truth is beyond your sight. Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor? Despite the fact that it came from me? No, that's not it. Not it? What's not it? This is beyond our sight. No, that can't be. There should be, there should be somebody to figure out what happened in the dark. Yeah. Even if we couldn't see what happened in the dark, I'm pretty sure someone could have heard. It. Isn't that right, Ibuki? Oh, real? <laughs> you were the one who told me, remember? When everyone was shouting during the blackout? like this ah, don't step on my feet what the hell what's going on here this, this is ow turn the damn lights on i can't eat like this you know you guys where are you w wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen perhaps the breaker overloaded hold on a sec i'll go along the wall and do something about it. Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. You were there when she told us that. Your ears are awesome because your face, style, figure, and personality totally suck. <laughs> You've cut me deep with your knife of truth. However, after hearing what Byakuya and Nagito said in the dark, what the hell? What's going on here? This is... Ow! It almost sounds like... Yakuya fought back against Nagato or something. Well, that's actually what happened. Uh? As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. He shoved you out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Byakuya, wearing his night vision goggles, caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. That's right. I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. So, Byakuya stopped him when he was trying to get the knife? And he got shoved out from under the table before he could even grab it. Well, it sounds plausible. I mean, just from listening to what they both said at the time. What the hell? What's going on here? Recycle that footage, son. This is... We paid these voice actors $25, so we're gonna fucking get our money's worth. I could interpret it like that. No, actually. 
Now that I think about it, that sounds like exactly what happened. After getting shoved out from under the table, I was just as confused as you guys. I lost sight of the glowing paint. I didn't even know where the power cord was. Before I realized it, the lights had come back on, and the alchemy's body was lying on the table. Hold on! Are you saying you're not the killer? From the very beginning, the idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout, it was all going according to plan. But unfortunately, my plan failed. And all thanks to Byakuya's night vision goggles. And that damn pesky doll that? too. Even I don't know. You failed? The then you're not the one who killed Byakuya? Then we're right back to square one! How can that be? We spent all this time talking back and forth! What other world is brimming with so much despair? But you can't give up. You need to have hope. Do your best and move forward. Rising to the challenge again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. Is Nagato really not the killer? Is this guy really the Nagato I knew before? No, there's no way I can say that. I just thought I knew him, but this whole time, I didn't know anything about this guy. I didn't know his true character. It's as simple as that. But now is not the time for me to dwell on that. We need to find Byakuya's killer by any means possible. Because if we don't, we, we will die here. What the fuck? Well now. Um, what? Billion dollars. Now then, what are you gonna do? Um, hey, bud. Oh, just kidding. You can't make it. Fuck, God damn it. Yeah, sure. Hi, Mona Me, and my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. The group's leader, Byakuya, got killed, and his killer is among this group of students. No, I'm not gonna believe it. I'll never believe it. I don't know what any of this is. Forget to save regularly. I am. Trust me, I am. Well, what now? If the knife isn't the murder weapon, there's no definitive proof that I'm the killer. Sh shut up! We'll be the judge of that. Y you say you were shoved away, but you can't actually prove it, right? That's right. Even if a different weapon was used, it does not mean Nagito has been cleared of suspicion. But, but there's another reason why I don't think Nagito is the killer. There's still more? Based on what we've discussed, Yakuya was killed under the table, right? Is there something wrong with that? Well, even if that's true, I think Nagito looks 
Nobody's ever complimented me on my appearance before. Not even my own mother. Uh, I'm not talking about your looks. Look at the exact machine. I see. Okay, cool. Are you trying to say something like, why didn't Nagito have any blood stains on him? That's it! Because under the table, there was a lot of blood splattered everywhere, right? There were even blood stains on the inside of the tablecloth. If he stabbed Byakuya to death, it's strange he did not get splattered with an appropriate amount of blood. I didn't get any blood on me. That is weird. <laughs> you just used something to block the blood, didn't you? Something that might have been used to block the blood splatter. What do you think it could have been? <laughs> what are you, child at home? I guess we did see something I could have used. Isn't that right, Hajime? Yes, there's only one thing you could have used to block the blood splatter. about the bloodstained tablecloths we found in the storage room, right? If there are bloodstains on it, that settles it. Nagito used the tablecloth to block the blood splatter. But that was found in the storage room, right? Are you suggesting he hid it there after the murder? You mean after the lights came back on? What would he have done if we'd seen him? That's true. The tablecloth was pretty big, so even if you tried to hide it and take it with you... Wearing a tablecloth, going under the table, getting a knife in a blackout, and stabbing someone. That's not just impossible for someone like me. Wouldn't it also be impossible for you guys, too? Th then what does it mean? You didn't do it. Maybe. The killer didn't necessarily stab Yakuya under the table. Huh? No, there's no mistake that the murder occurred under that table. Even the inside of the tablecloth was bloody. So, there's no denying Yakuya was killed there. But that doesn't mean where Yakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are the same, right? They were under the house. I don't understand at all. Play for Yakut stabbing killer and the killer did the stabbing are different. Huh? Sorry, I'm kinda hungry right now. So I'm like getting a bit weird. Really? It sounds like a riddle. I feel like I'm onto something, but still not clear what that is. Under the table, but not under the table. If it's somehow possible, it's the only way that makes sense. Moving forward, we should put aside all unnecessary preconceptions and just choose the answer. I think. In scenes where we have to figure out important words, the improved Hangman's Gambit will occur. Goes to out the right letters in order so it reveals a keyword related to the incident in question. Improved Hangman's Gambit is a little like a puzzle game. Various letters will be flying across the screen in all directions. There are two rules you must remember. One, if two different letters clash, you will take damage. If two of the same letters clash, they will fuse. You must make two of the same letters clash. You must make two of the same letters clash Ash, while trying not to let two different letters clash. That is what's most important. In order to do so, we'll catch release. Press the A button on top of the letter. We'll snatch the letter up like a vacuum. It means catch a letter. However, you can only catch one letter at a time, so please be careful. When you when you press the A button while you have a letter caught, you can shoot it wherever your cursor is aiming. That's how you release the letter. With catch a release, you can change the position of letters and hit letters into each other. Make sure if you hit letters, blah, 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 you get bigger. Pressing A, you can blow it up and release it from the field. 
It's called firing the letters. Catch a release with A, then after you fuse them, fire it with A. A lot of A buttons. However, if you just erase letters, you won't be able to clear the game. Ultimately, the main goal of Okay, has got to split. Click after B and figure out what the fuck. Blah, 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 blah. Like keyword. Press the A button to fire the letter. Instead of pressing the A button to fire the letter, please press the Y button. If that happens at the same time the letter blows up, it will be sent to the keyword list. If the letter sent is correct, yeah, I think we get to take damage. Sure, the keyword in order. Oh, fucking Christ, this is. Oh, uh, yep. Okay. Aren't the same using those. Where's the clues for time of exception? Something. Something is coming to me. Just a little bit more. I have a feeling I can see something. Okay, so you first. Oh, this is fucking weird as hell. Ah, fuck, wrong button, shit. Shit ass. This takes a lot longer to do than the last one. Like the last one, it was. Next one was pretty simple, but like it fucking went. Maybe I should just like let things roll out a bit. Come on, give me that weird purple butterfly thing. There it is. Dicks. Fuck. Fucking shit, ass. Ugh. 
Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Got it. The killer must have stabbed Yakia from under the floorboards. Under the floorboards? The floorboards in the old building are full of gaps, and there was no carpet laid out under the table. Mm, fuck. They stuck the weapon through one of the gaps. They could have stabbed Yakia to death. If so, that means the killer was able to get under the floorboards. Where? How? Well, let's ask Gundam. Name, but I have a feeling there's someone here who does know. That's right, if I remember correctly, one person here should know how to get under the floorboards. your earring in the dining hall, right? Referring to the hellhound earring? Yep. About that earring. I said, are you referring to the hellhound earring? About that hellhound earring. You dropped it beneath the floorboard, right? God, this is fucking getting me going. You want to see everything? Yep. <laughs> Just a bit longer, and I would have reduced everything, including that old building, to ashes. Using However, hamsters. It's just as the old legends say. The Hellhound Earring has returned to its owner, to me! Is it safe to say that that earring is the one hanging from your right ear? Huh? Could it be? Gundam wasn't wearing an earring during the investigation. And if he had it on by the time the class trial began... And that means Gundam was able to retrieve his hearing from beneath the floorboards during the investigation. So... Gundam knows how to get under the floorboards. <laughs> it's understandable. After all, you fools only view the world through eyes of glass. But I am different! With the power of my four Dark Devas of Destruction, it is of no concern. True, this you is sent the your hamsters. evil fourth eye. Before the might of the evil fourth eye, all visual chaos is rendered asunder. What should I do? I'm embarrassed just listening to him. Yeah, me too, kinda. No! Man up and speak more clearly! Fine, I shall tell you all. The answer was in the storage room. One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has seen beyond the chaos. A secret passage of doom leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. After securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboards. And as a result of that lonesome battle, I was able to recover the Hellhound Earring with my own two hands! <laughs> Tremble with fear, fools! Behold my power! There he goes, blabbing about power and crap. You're ridiculous. You're just a breeder, you know? Yeah, yeah. She's not wrong. Anyway, it sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. And that has to be how the killer did it. If the space beneath the floor is empty, it's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. 
I see. If they pass through the storage room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there... Stab! 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 Hmm. Are you sure? You don't like stab, stab, stab? Should it sound more fleshy? Like... No, you're not talking about your sound effects. You're saying they snuck under the floorboards, but that means they would have had to leave the party, right? So, was there anyone who was able to do that? Then whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. They must be the one who was waiting under the floorboard. Hmm, so who's at least? the party again? So Fihiko, Pekko. I didn't participate, but I was guarding Chiaki. the entrance, remember? Monami over there can be my witness, right? Yes! This Monami over here is your witness! I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further, but I was unable to leave the bathroom. I was in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. Um, the only person who wasn't at the party... Was for you, Hiko. Judging from the photo I took before the blackout... It obviously has to be him! Eleven people the were there. Chucky, the Paco, Titter Terror weren't there. What happened to the so we're missing. Stuff like oh, then she was taking pictures. So we're missing two people. Him. Don't mess with me. I'll fucking yeah. kill Fuyuhiko you. Fuyuhiko and. See, you're making friends again. Yep, yep, that's right. Things are starting to get exciting. One other person. Good news. You're not allowed to use the silencer. Fucking finally. Use the silencer as many times well, yeah, as, as you want. When you use the silencer, you can shoot down the white noise. Also, when you shoot down the white noise, your time limit will increase a little. However, you shoot an actual remark with the silencer instead of the white noise, the time limit will decrease. So aim carefully when you're using the silencer. Oh, we got to shit, shit, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hey, if you do feel like doing a little bang bang, you can do your heart's content. Bang, 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 blah, 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 blah. Start button, you can really control Look at that fun. Woo. That's a go. Okay, I'm actually gonna need a refresher on all their say on all their statements. So Bookie's account. So Mahiro, Kazuchi, Buki, Kyoko, Byakya, Nagito, Akane, Teru, and Sonia. Okay. If you came to the old building and walked away. Went straight to the office. She wasn't there. Okay. Stared at panties all day without going to the storage room in the dark. Is that true, Fuyuhiko? Don't act like I'm the fucking killer! But when the party started, nobody saw you, you know. That means you have no alibi. No, that's wrong. Fuyuhiko definitely I've been recording no a bit today, so I'm a bit right, out of it. Chiaki? Um... Oh, you're right. I saw Fuyuhiko after the party started. There's no way he could have been waiting under the floor before then. I should have said that earlier, dumbass. It's still your fault. Like, 
Why were you even lurking around the old building in the first place? Shut up! So maybe there really is a secret passage to go under the floorboards from outside. And he came to spy. What'd you say, motherfucker? I also love how every time we go back to him, fucking Ibuki just pointing at him. Wow, he got chewed out, but he looks super happy. Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed that. Then someone definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the party. During the party? It was probably during the blackout. Well, if someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. But walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict without any eggs. Yeah, kinda. I was gonna say that, like, you... You're right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness, and that room was much closer. But is it really impossible? It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. It was super dark, you know? There's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. I can't stop thinking about it. I feel like there's something I overlooked. For clarity's sake, once again. It appears we're getting close to the final stage. The blackened or the spotless. Which is superior? I think it's time to settle this. Okay, another debate. What do we got? It was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the cord? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? What a pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? Sounds impossible. Two's moving in the dark might be what one person suggested. If so, I might be able to prove it. The hallway would so watching the kitchen equipment list. Or the stove. Moving to the storage room like it's like making a seafood bowl without fish. Is it really not? What if they used a string like the cord? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles. What a pain! I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? I agree with that. Okay. Yeah, portable stoves. You know, the killer had a light with him. I was right? But where could they have found a light? The kitchen. There was one nearby for sure. See? It's written on the kitchen's equipment list. <laughs> also, iron plates or RQ. Need a portable stove. Fucking hot pots. It's the portable stove. Wait, Terra did it? The Fuck, what? The stove isn't powered by electricity, and it's also small enough to carry around. So, the killer used the portable stove to move from the hallway to the storage room during the black time. I see. I never considered the portable stove. But there's a hole in your argument. Oh? No. Uh-huh. A hole. What kind of hole? Oh, God. It would be great if you could explain it to me in much more detail. We have oh, more important things joke going on. It's really not a perverted joke. I'm, I'm serious. Put your tiny dick back in your tiny pants. Repeating yourself just makes it even more suspicious. Now then, Hajime, will you battle against me? Yeah, fuck it, sure, bro. No, that's wrong. 
Will you be able to break through my argument? Yeah, probably. What does he mean, battle? Sounds like he's enjoying a game or something. Damn it. There's no way I'm going to lose against someone like him. Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? Hmm. So the purple stuff we use light source contradicts Kazuchi's testimony? I don't think what Kazuchi said was wrong, but for now I shot from our rebuttal. Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? Okay. I got it now. Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? And we advance. Don't doubt what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the it was because the hallway was dark, right? So if the light was shining in such a dark hallway... Damn it! Crap! The reason Kazuichi couldn't see it was because the hallway was dark. So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway... Damn it! Wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Not necessarily, Why bitch! Cut through those words! Fire doors, motherfucker! Nagito, did you forget? Or are you just pretending you forgot? Huh? What are you talking about? There should have been a wall that blocked light. I'm talking about the fire door in the hallway. If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. Plus, the hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they passed the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. I see. You actually notice the fire door. Just as expected. You notice it too, dude. Oh. Wow. You still don't remember your talent, do you? Yeah, who cares about that right now? Nagito, what are you plotting? For someone who insists he's not the killer, you are quite nosy. You sound so scary. If you're that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? You sure like to piss us off. How about I shut your fucking mouth for you? Hey! It's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. More importantly, can you hurry up and decide who's the blackened already? Time runs out when I get bored. So it's Mineta, Terra Terra. I get it. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer, not an imposter like me, to show themselves. <laughs> You're obviously the killer, right? No. If you think I am, I really don't mind. Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at, I will accept it. No matter what it is. So, you're telling me to call it the real killer? Even though I don't really want to condemn that person, but... There's no other way, right? First, use the hallway's fire door as a cover and use the portable stove to move in the dark. And suck under the floorboards to stab Yakia to death using the glowing paint as a mark. So, the only killer I can think of is. You and only you. Could it be you? Huh? What? What are you talking 
talking about? Terror Terror is the killer? Is that true? What are you talking about? There's no way! Of course, that's simply my assumption. So if you have an objection, please speak free. Uh, objection or not, why am I being treated like the killer? Because the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen. That's it? That's the only reason you're treating me like a killer? Well, the murder weapon Isn't came from the kitchen, too, because it's one of those skewers. You're cruel. Cruel. Too cruel. Uh, that attitude is so not like I ended up rocking my chair swinging into the same fucking rhythm so as upset. fucking... Call me Chef. Is, is Usami in the background there? The aspersions like this, who will be there to support the future of the culinary arts? The, the future of the culinary arts? That's right. For the future of the culinary God arts. God damn it, Nakito. You must face this and fight it fair and square. God, he's the Nega Makoto. You're right. Yeah, that's totally right. So, what's an aspersion anyway? Is it yummy? Did you know asbestos is yummy too? You should try some later. Nagito, why are you interfering? Let's assume that the killer used a light. And that they used the fire door to mask that light. And that they moved to the storage room and snuck under the floorboards. Then what? It's dark under the floorboards too. So how would they be able to stab Miyaku? You're not going to say they shined the light on Byaku, you're right. The plan would have been ruined if he noticed. That's right. What do you think about that? That's... Call the dark tape. There's no way you can answer, right? You personally haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. If that's the case, then Gundam should know. He actually went under the floorboards. No. Unfortunately, there was nothing related to the incident under the floorboards. The only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness, near where Byakuya's blood was dripping. And there we go. What? A shining liquid in the dark? That sounds super important! If there was a shining mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? I was hard about that mark. What was that mark? talking about is the glowing paint that was applied to the knife, right? Ah, by using the glowing paint as a target, they were able to judge where to stab even in the dark. I see. The killer didn't target an actual person. They just struck the moment the glowing paint moved. That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife. So... Killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. I see. That's why Byakuya got killed when he took the knife. But if they were able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Well, Teru Teru! S seriously, I don't know anything. Really, I don't know anything at all. Then can I ask everyone a question instead? Yeah, sure. You again? Just stop already! N now, now. We should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. 
And just what did Ibuki hear during the blackout? What the hell? What's going on here? Th this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? She heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining room? Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? Not necessarily! That's right! That's exactly it! But Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So, why was he in the dining hall? I... I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen, so I panicked and ran out of there. Of course, the hallway was dark too, but somehow, I managed to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Well... It's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. That sounds fishy. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is lying by licking their stuff. So, if you want, you should try licking me. Jesus Christ. No way! You look greasy. But I heard Tara Taro's voice in the dining hall! Ibuki swears on her honor! That's right. Teru Teru was in the dining He's hall, not under the storage room. The floorboards. He's not the killer. No, that's not it. Why? Why do you want to keep falsely accusing me? It's not like I want to blame you. I just. I'm just falling out of this, bro. You should be so proud of yourself, Hajime. You're just progressing toward the hope you believe in. Now, Hajime, show me more of your hope. Will that be enough to crush Teru Teru's hope? Are you talking about my dick? Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. Fuck. Crap. Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. It's handsome, unlike his face. Maybe it was recording or something? Nope, definitely a live voice. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. I'll shoot through that contradiction. Yep. Okay. I seem to always be I seem to be able to get like the right truth bullet most of the time, which is hard like finding the right fucking weak point. Doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. Huh? Why? Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor, it should have sounded just like the voices in the dining hall. <laughs> see. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining hall. Is that true, Teru Teru? Hold on a second. Can you explain this, Teru Teru? Oh, damn, even Mika is fucking up saying that. Wait a second, ain't I? <laughs> what are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you, I was in that there dining hall during the blackout. Oh, wow. Where are you from again? Fucking what? Ooh, I was born in West Azabu and raised in South Aoyama. Hey, you guys. This guy's a major liar. Son of a bitch. That fucking if voice. If Terry was in the dining hall during the blackout, he should have been there after the power returned, right? Well, I believe so. There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. 
Huh? Was Teru Teru actually there during that time? I, I sure was! I was there the whole damn time! Something oh, like I need to get a fucking caveman's take on this. Like on that instant. fucking voice. People's lives are at stake. Damn right! You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your haze and memories! His accent is getting even worse! He's definitely lying! However, I am not sure. I believe that he was there, and I believe that he was not there. No! Oh, is there any way we can decide? Why don't we consult his memories? His memories? Say I don't be saying things like that don't make no sense. Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? Probably can. Oh, you again! Whether or not Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout, in order to know for sure, I should throw that question at him. I can prove it with this. Yeah, of course. If you're claiming that you were in the dining hall when the power came back. You should know how Mikan was positioned at the time, right? Why are you so quiet? What? No! Don't make me remember! It's so embarrassing! No, this is a very important question. Well, Terry Karen, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Huh? Huh? Um... It was a pretty clever way of tripping. There's no way you'd forget about it so easily. Spread Eagle! Oh, I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! I showed you something so unsightly! Uh, how about it? You can't answer, Teru Teru! Um... Um... Huh? Uh... From my mind. There's no way it would slip from your mind, especially not a pervert like you. Uh, um, even so, Nagito, say something. Hmm. I guess you might have to give up now. Give up? What do you mean, give up? Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. It kind of feels like a broken dream. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? Well, hold, hold on a sec. Don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. Huh? But it's already decided, right? Now, now, no matter what, but haven't been cleared up yet, Chef! Yeah? No use. I can't understand him anymore. It's really easy to understand, dude. It appears he's saying the murder weapon hasn't been cleared up yet. Oh, that's a skewer. You understand him? But it's such a sad defense. This is too cruel. Oh, you calling me to kill that where's the weapon? Come on, Monomi! Enough with the whimpering and translate! Um... He said, if you're calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? Weapon, huh? It's not the knife, right? Nope. Judging from Yaku's wounds, it was a thin edged tool that's roughly five millimeters in diameter. Also, if they stabbed from under the floorboards, the weapon would need to be at least 50 centimeters in length. After all this, who cares about the weapon? Not good enough! Not good enough at all! He said, not good enough. Not good enough at all! Fine, I got it. Let's try thinking about what the weapon was. Yeah, skewer. Wanna do it? Wanna do it? Um, he said, try to do it. <laughs> what a confusing accent! Anyway, we need to focus and think about this. A thin edged tool with a diameter of about 50 millimeters? That was. that was 5 millimeters. 
Oh, wait. I love that Miso's requirements might have been used at the crime scene. Hmm. What's that? Oh, Hangman's Gambit. All right. So, meat skewer. An N, an M. God fucking damn it. Okay, we can't speed this up. Where the fuck? Oh my god damn it. Yeah, it's a fucking... I need an M. Where the god damn is an M? Oh wait, is is wait, is Oh fucking god damn it. It's iron skewer. Damn it, damn it. Everyone doubts me. It's Pierce Charles gun. Okay. Fucking Should we try? Yes! We will never give up! Okay, iron skewer. I was thinking I had meat skewer in my head the entire fucking time. I'm an idiot. Okay. Iron skewer. Okay. Fuck with everybody at the top, but eventually got to it. That's it. 
The weapon must be the iron skewer. Huh? The iron skewer? Before the party, as Byagiyo was confiscating all the dangerous items, he spoke to Terror Terror. From the start. So that missing iron skewer is the weapon? An iron skewer would match up with the wounds perfectly. Hey, Teru Teru, where'd you hide the iron skewer? Ah, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 random shit to fuck with us. You probably dumped it somewhere on the island, didn't you? This school trip has a no littering rule. If he had violated it, the island sirens would be ringing non-stop. Island sirens? Just for littering? Also, I was on guard duty, and I never once saw Teru Teru leave the old building. So one of the boxes. We obviously put it somewhere in the old place. It's probably the kitchen again, right? Now nah, we searched that. Teru, just man up and be straight with us. Oh. 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 Whoa! Finally, we are nearing the end. <sighs> Finally. A cornered opponent will be surrounded by soul shields and will simply not listen to what you have to say. It'll probably be a pain to condemn your classmates, but this is a class trial after all. You must argue against your opponent and destroy their soul shields. A high speed dispute battle where you have to beat down a panicked opponent's excuses and nonsense. That's a bullet time battle. I'm sorry. The panic talk action. This heard the PTA. During the PTA, you must destroy all your opponent's soul shields before you can deliver your final strike. In order to do that, you must destroy your opponent's remarks by following the tempo of the song. Time your button presses with the tempo marker as it moves across the screen. Measure tempo by pressing the B button, and you'll be able to lock on to your opponent's remarks. If you keep pressing it, you'll be able to lock on to multiple remarks at the same time. Afterwards, if you release the B button in time with the tempo marker, the intercept, it will intercept the unlocked mark. No. I uh, throw a marksman down his own soul shield. You can't destroy the rockers in time. They'll end up getting hurt. Press B button. Number down. Okay, be careful. This is the final blow. Give it a final mark. Uh, if that happens, four words will be displayed on the top, the bottom left, right screen. Each one of those four words corresponds to the B, Y, A, X, and A button. Press the button in the right order. You will be able to compose your words for a final strike. To make your argument. Also, if you deliver, uh, yep, yeah, good luck like, and have fun. Oh, 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 whoa! What the hell you even say? You do a cut a hit? He said, um, oh, what the hell are you even saying, you stupid country hit? I guess we have no choice but to somehow find out for ourselves. You mean I have no choice but to find out? If the iron skewer is the weapon, then hiding it in the kitchen will be the easiest way to slip it, slip it by. But Byaki and I checked the kitchen pretty thoroughly before the party started. Which means, was the weapon already hidden somewhere? Somewhere hidden somewhere we couldn't find it? Could it have been in an unexpected place? Where would he have hidden a long weapon like an iron skewer? Think carefully. I must reveal I must reveal to Terra Terra the conclusive evidence that proves he is the killer. Shut up! That's impossible! I'm hitting B! Nonsense! Unforgivable! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Oh, okay. Shut up! 
Not impossible! Nonsense! Unforgivable! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! There is Hilton! Unforgivable! Where would the weapon be? Ah. <sighs> The bone on the... The bone on meat. Oh, the meat on bone. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Shut up! That's impossible! Nonsense! Unforgivable! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Where would the weapon be? The meat on bone. That's impossible! Meat on the, meat on the bone. Fuck, I'm an idiot! Meat on the bone. This is the end. I am a smart boy. I know math. I you know, I know English. I can words gooder. Could the iron skewer have been hidden inside the piece of meat on the bone? Meat. The meat on bone. I'm a fuck. Jesus Christ. What are you saying? Just let you know, I was a solid C minus English student. Impossible. That's what Biaki and I thought. That's why we overlooked. So that pile of food appears to be the case. <laughs> but in fact, the only place you could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Out of all the dishes you prepared. The only one that could hide a weapon as long as an iron skewer is? The meat on the bone. Bye. What now? I'm using my right to remain silent. There's no way that exists here. We need to confirm this now. So if we eat that tasty looking piece of meat and find the iron skewer inside, bullseye. Um. Right. Monokuma or Monami, one of you hurry and bring over that piece of meat. One minute. Just give me one minute. I'll eat the whole thing. Wait, a, hold on a second. Time out, time out. What are you doing? Hurry up and bring it over. Uh, about that. <laughs> huh? Where did Monokuma go? I'm right here. Eating some fucking meat. I'm already eating it. Oh, a bear that eats meat. Uh, wait, now that I think about it, that's pretty normal. Oh, nah. What is this? So yummy. Damn it, that's my meat. I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life. The taste brings me back to my days in the wild. This, this is bad. Seriously, this is really bad. My, my. There's something inside the meat. Look what came out. Isn't that... Is that an iron skewer? Damn right it is, motherfuckers. Check it out. The handle looks like it's made of bone. Pretty clever. The sword of destruction, encased in bone and sheathed in meat. It brought catastrophe <laughs> to Byakuya. As expected of Teru Teru. Such a fantastic weapon from the ultimate chef. You're wrong. I'm not the killer. I'm not the kind of person who would kill someone. I got it. You all set me up. You guys set me up so you could blame this on me. Jeez, what a disappointment. Such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. Can you really call that hope? Hey, Nagato. I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet? Isa, you're all nothing but a bunch of poor, loud mouth fast food-eating pets. 
You, you don't need to translate anymore. Somehow I can tell what he's trying to say. It's not speak. It's not that hard to understand, man. Let's just deal with Nagato later. More importantly, we should first. I guess we need to settle this once and for all. To do that, we need to go over the entire incident. Oh uh, yeah, making a comic book, motherfuckers. Let's do this. I love this part. Go over the entire incident. Then I can prove Tater Tater's crime. That's right. If we don't do that, we can't end this. No matter how much time passes. So, we need to do it. So, it's my throb, it's chesting. Every case has one last feature to bring the click cross drive to an end. This is a closing argument. In this phase, you'll give a complete summary of the case. We'll have to produce the order of events in the form of a comic book. This production is merely how to man's imagination. Some, so there will be gaps here and there. Gaps are areas where a number of pieces are missing. It's up to you to complete the comic using the truth panels provided. Around three to five truth panels make up one set. Inside that one set, there will be the correct panels placed among the incorrect panels. If you use the all correct panels containing one set, it will switch to a new set. And after that, if you fill the holes in the third channels, for sure, or knows that, but he'll be difficult. I've done all of this before. Yep, good luck and have fun. Woo, yeah! Alrighty then. So... Yeah, he's guarding the entrance. These are on. Stock two. This is interesting. Before, before it was just like you just had everything and it just kind of went. Stock already. Here's everything that happened in this case. Right, we're good. Awesome. Let's try going over the whole incident, beginning with right after the party started. Whew. Yes, let's. Yakia had us gather in the dining hall of the old building near the hotel. He was extra cautious about a murder occurring that night because of a threatening letter he received. Therefore, he decided to throw a party so he could monitor us. <laughs> Though one person didn't come, the rest of us assembled at the dining hall. And the party was underway. 
But at that time, the trap set by a certain someone was already in motion. Dang. They plugged three irons into the outlets in the storage room, which nearly capped the power usage. Additionally, they prepared something else that would activate at 11.30 p.m. The air conditioners in the office and dining hall. They had already set the timers for these. Thanks to the irons maxing out the power usage, the breaker was tripped when the air conditioners kicked on. Since the windows in the old building were covered, the blackout plunged the dining hall into total darkness. But when that happened, Byakuya took out a specific item that he brought in his case. <laughs> that item was the night vision goggles. Byakuya was so God, it's about like fucking waddles from Gravity Falls and night vision goggles. night vision goggles, Byakuya witnessed a certain someone making a suspicious move. He saw Nagito guiding himself with the desk lamp's power cord so he could get under the table. That's right, everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The murder warning to Byakuya, the source of the blackout, it was all Nagito. While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real killer, began making their move in the kitchen. The killer probably already knew about Nagito's plan, so they knew a blackout was coming. That's why the killer prepared all the items they would need to commit their crime in the dark beforehand. They needed a light source, which was provided by the portable stove in the kitchen. They needed a weapon, too. This had also been hidden in the kitchen beforehand. The long iron skewer used in the churrasco dish. The killer hid that inside that meat with the bone in it. With the weapon and portable stove in hand, the killer stepped out into the hallway. First, they closed the fire door in the hallway so their light source wouldn't peek toward the dining hall. Then, guided by the light, the killer headed toward the storage room and grabbed a specific item. This seems incredibly elaborate for happening in over the course of that blackout. Which is like, what, a couple seconds? A tablecloth to block the blood splatter. With this, the killer finished their preparations and snuck under the floorboards through the secret passage. They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that point, or left it near the entrance of the door. The floor in the dining hall is full of gaps. So there's no way they could have safely held a light source. Also, the light source was fire and they wrapped themselves in cloth. But thanks to the glowing mark they painted earlier, the killer was able to get beneath the table. Under the table, Byakuya found the knife that had been hidden there. only he had retreated, he probably wouldn't have gotten killed. He had to retrieve that knife. And at that moment... Looks too many stab. The killer lurking beneath the floorboard stabs straight up with the iron skewer. The killer had been waiting in the dark for the moment when the glowing paint began to move. After they murdered Byakuya, the killer, 
purposefully shouted from beneath the floorboards to make it seem like they were still in the dining hall. Afterward, they came out from underneath the floorboards and rushed back to the kitchen. And then, after hiding the murder weapon in the kitchen, they rejoined the group as if nothing had happened. There's only one person who would have been able to commit this crime. Teru Teru. Especially if that person is someone who'd think of an unexpected way to hide a weapon inside food. Isn't that right, Teru Teru Hanamura? Oh, I snap. Oh, goddamn. That's what happened. How about it? Did I get anything wrong? This is a mistake. A mistake, I tell you. I would never, I would never kill anyone. Would never. <laughs> it seems this is the end. All right, time to catch your fucking boats. Do this shit. Vote him off the fucking island. Oh, literally this time. Guess it's appropriate. Ooh, a bee. Noise. Stacking a grip. Let's go, motherfuckers. Looks like your argument has come to a close. Whoops! I lost control of my wild side for a second. Was that a side effect of the meat I just ate? Well, putting that aside, let's move along to the nerve-wracking voting time! Now yeah. then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Oh, just a reminder, make triple sure you vote for someone. If you don't vote, I'm gonna eat you up just like that meat from earlier. <laughs> Why did this happen? Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> Such heart pounding excitement. You're telling me, brother. I don't have the regular portraits down there anymore, but eh, it's the aesthetic. Correct. Yahoo! Ooh, yeah. That's that good shit. <laughs> Why couldn't it have been someone cool? Fuck! <laughs> oh, oh, big guy. You, you've got it wrong. Hey! Oh! Huh? Trying to stop? What do you mean? Oh, Teru Teru. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's that good shit. That's that Danganronpa shit right there, son. Feeling bad. When that happened, he. 
You caught me? What? Hey! I'm scheming a murder! <laughs> <laughs> Impossible. Oh, yeah. Is that good shit? Well. I just feel fucking great. <laughs> this is... Oh man, Nagato is amazing. Amazing! He is rock hard right now, I can tell. <laughs> We're gonna murder the. I'm gonna murder somebody, and then show that they can keep going because I'm the best. Because they're the best. It's great. I'm like the fucking. I'm like fucking Zoom, man. No, 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 no. I'm gonna make you guys the best symbols of hope possible. See. Yeah, man. This is this is fucking Zoom. Like comic book Zoom. He abards on. No, not your Barthon. Fucking Hunter Zolomon. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Yeah, Hunter Zolomon. Just fucking... I... I'm going to make you a better villain. I'm going to make you a better hero. By killing everyone. Be the best villain you ever have. That way you'll be a better hero. <laughs> wow, you won't crack. I mean, this is great, but I kind of need this to be over because I'm running out of recording space in some places. <laughs> wait, no way, no way! Yep, yeah, there is. Nagito, what is the meaning of this? Explain it to me. I don't understand. I didn't think about the story at all. See? Don't fuck with me! What? No. No, not at all. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Great. Oh my god, this guy's amazing. What's going on? I fucking love him. What's going on? Nah, man. He commits murder so that we can overcome it. Prove that he is... Yeah, prove that he is the fucking killer. He dies, and then we get stronger because of it. Is that why you didn't mind when Tater Tater discovered your plan? That's wrong. So... Oh, yeah.
I'm already kind of enjoying this more than the first one. With like the first one, it took some time. Like there was, there was build up, there was all that shit. What? Shit, and so like that first, that first case was pretty great of it being like a, like a double cross kind of thing, of like, oh, you thought it was this, but it was actually this the entire time. <laughs> Similar kind of situation. Hey, 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 hey. But here. It's just so much more tragic. There's just so much more fucking. However, there's such a there's such a different thrust behind it all that makes it so much better to me. Whoa. Yeah, this entire situation. Byakia probably, probably tried to stop Nagito from grabbing the knife. And then, in place of Nagito... Nope. Huh? Perhaps... What? Yeah, what? See? Right, yeah. Trying to stop all of it from happening. Guide you all. But then he got got. He's a piece of shit. You guys are putting a lot of faith into Biakia. Like, yeah, some stuff might have happened, but I don't think he really deserves all of that. Such despair. What? This fucking labyrinthine. Just layers on layers on layers, man. How unexpected. Why? Why? <laughs> nah, bro, that's me. That's me, brother. I'm the protagonist of a Danganronpa game. What do you mean confirm? Just stop it already. Well. Isn't that right? Antagonist. Man. <laughs> it'll make ev it'll make everyone here hope stronger. And it'll make my dick grow bigger. I'll be great. I am so hard right now. Just <clears throat> Impossible. Shut up. <laughs> 
Shut up! Hey, hey! Mmm. Mmm, I'm... <laughs> I can do What's it. The matter? I can do it. I can do it. I want to see. I need this. Get me there. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Don't matter, son. Welcome to Tongan Rampa. Life for a life, man. Impossible. That's... Hey. Come on, fry him up in a walk or something. Throw him into the sun and have Kirby eat him. I don't know. Why you? Punishment time, motherfuckers! Let's get there! It makes his meat salty. That too. I needed to go back home no matter what. Need to go back to the bayou, you hear? Ah, okay. Oh, mama. Okay, I'm going now. When I come back, I think we should talk again about opening an Aoyama and Azabu location. Oh my, you're still talking about that? Oh, I'm serious. The Academy guarantees success for its graduates, right? So, I know it's going to be difficult by yourself, but wait for me until then, okay? Yes, you're right. Then I'll just have to do my best to keep the Hanamura Diner from going out of business until then. Mom, you don't have to work so hard. What if you collapse again while I'm gone? Jesus Christ. I'll be fine. Moms are strong. They are. I won't lose to some illness. They are fucking laying this shit on thick. I know that already. I know that already. Just smothering it. Just fucking. Mm. That's why I need to go home. <laughs> Hey! What happened to Mama? Dude, it's his mom. You can't really fucking. When shit like that gets involved, you can't really take anything 
for granted, man. Wrong. That's why I wanted to go home. After like a video of his diner or something where it's like on fire and his mom's dead in the foreground. Then kill him. Just fucking despair. <laughs> it's not that Teru Teru didn't believe it. He believed it more than anybody else here. That's why he kept denying it. Because he believed it, he needed to deny it. Damn it. If only when, if only I knew if I only knew how he felt, something like this never would have happened. I Fine, fine. I'm sorry. I think I'm the one who went crazy. Ter Ter. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, man. What? So. Yahoo! Yes. Yes. The fuck he can't. Jeez, get out of my way. Ugh. Yeah, recycle that corkscrew, son. Well now. Punishment time. Punishment time. Punishment time. Wait. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. Yes. Hey! P please! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Oh, this is gonna feel so good. Lies! I won't believe this! Kind of sucks that Monokuma doesn't turn into the Grim Reaper anymore when he grabs him, but... You're gonna shoot him? That's boring. Oh, no, okay. So, coated in something. You're gonna fucking fry him? Oh, nice. Oh, that's great. Mm. Extreme! Yeah, baby. Damn it! 
Yes, it is. Nice. What rule? You're the one who's breaking the rules. When you mentioned the motive, didn't you also promise something? you tell Teru Teru about his mom or his diner? He had a right to know. You... Bastard! <laughs> Such despair. <laughs> you Crab! Oh, yeah. I have problems, that's why I'm smiling so much. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, pretty messed up, probably. Hey. Are you seriously intending to help the killer? <laughs> Great. Wow, this fucking guy.
This is exciting! Oh, man. <laughs> you pissed me off. Fine. Let's stop this already. It's just gonna be a waste of time if we keep dealing with him. What? How unfortunate. What is that? Isn't that right? Don't put me in the same category as you. Hey. Akane, please feel free to punch him. Wait! Please stop! It is 10 o'clock at night. Why is that fucker still out there? Huh? Please listen! Well, you're next, probably. Let me ask. <laughs> you fiend. Well? Perhaps. I am sorry. Oh, Kazuichi, you fuck. Yes. Like... Happy <laughs> yeah, and bros. Hanging out, fucking. Jeez. Yeah, it's a bit uneven now, now that we have fucking, like, what? Eight girls and six guys, well? but... Eh. Fucking Fee, he can double up us both. Right? I thought I was going to say fuck. There's that f Kind of pronounced f kind of gave me enough time to just go, I was going to say fuck, ain't he? It's kind of what he wants. Yeah, you're right. Let's definitely work together and leave this island. Do our best. We kept using that phrase over and over again. Even though we knew they were just cheap, meaningless, empty words. Regardless, we still said it. And we'll continue to say it over and over again without stopping. Thus, the curtain had fallen upon the class trial where Byakuya and Teru Teru were sacrificed. Afterwards, we left the trial grounds and returned to the mainland of Jab Jabberwock Island. For the time being, we decided to go back to our cottages. After experiencing something like that, there's no way I could fall asleep. We gave up, got out of bed, and began walking around the hotel grounds for no reason. After not doing much of anything, I dully looked up at the sky. And there, just like before, there it was. 
the night sky brimming with stars. Stars looked like they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. As I looked up at such a beautiful night sky, I can go anywhere. That thought crossed my mind for some reason. The sky is connected to anywhere, even in my daily life. That's why I might be able to go home. That's right. I'm definitely going to go home. Hmm? That's what happened. As I stared up at the night sky, I felt a strange convergence of sensation. And then, while I continued to stare at the night sky, I felt my entire body stiffen with that sensation. Isn't this... Is someone watching me? <laughs> um... Gants? Chapter one is now in the bag. Ooh. Alrighty. And with that, we'll call here for today, everybody. Hey, my party! I have awarded a three-star badge. Yeah. And a wooden stick. Okay. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you all for joining me. Fuck me. Oh, so good. So good. But anyway, until next time, I'm dead. We'll see you guys later. Excuse me while I whip this out.